to day three of the monsoon session. Uh, it has begun once again and ended with the United Opposition reiterating its demand for a statement from the Prime Minister on the Manipur crisis. But the BJP continues to counter it with charges of atrocities against women in non-BJP rule states. Then slogans and placards were raids. High octane drama was witnessed, which also led to AAP leader Sanjay Singh's suspension for the entire duration of the parliament's monsoon session. The leader was seen in the well of the Rajya Sabha before suspension. Those are pictures on your screens. You will just see them. There was a lot of action and drama that took place. After this, Union Minister Piyush Goyal moved a motion against Sanjay Singh, following which he was suspended for the entire duration of the monsoon session. He has been suspended for repeatedly violating the directives of the chair. And I would urge the chair to take the necessary action against Mr. Sanjay Singh. The government wishes to move a motion for the suspension of Mr. Sanjay Singh for the remainder of the सदन के नेता श्री पीयूष गोयल द्वारा पेश किए गए और सदन द्वारा अपनाए गए एक प्रस्ताव पर उन्हें वर्तमान सत्र के शेष समय के लिए सदन की सेवाओं से निलंबित कर दिया गया रूल्स ऑफ प्रोसीजर एंड कंडक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस इन द काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट्स के अनुसार निलंबित सदस्य तुरंत परिषद के परिसर से हट जाते हैं हालांकि मैंने देखा है कि श्री संजय सिंह अभी भी सदन में मौजूद हैं मैं उनसे तुरंत सदन से हटने का आग्रह करता हूं ताकि सदन की कार्रवाई चल सके प्लीज कोई पॉइंट नो पॉइंट ऑफ ऑर्डर मैं आग्रह करता हूं माननीय संजय सिंह सदन से हटे Now, as for sources, AAP MPs have decided to not step out of parliament today. In fact, they have planned to stay in parliament through the night. They have also said that the only way they can evict an AAP MP is by force, by marshalling them out. Listen in. Look, the Prime Minister is not giving up to the Manipur of the country. He is giving up to the parade of Kargil of Yodha's wife. इतनी शर्मनाक घटना है भारत की सेना भारत के 140 करोड़ लोग उनका सर शर्म से झुक गया है लेकिन प्रधानमंत्री इतने बेशर्म हैं कि वो सदन में आके जवाब देने के लिए तैयार नहीं है और इसी के कारण आज मैंने 267 का नोटिस दिया था पहले 15-20 मिनट तक मैं अनुरोध करता रहा चेयर से कि मुझे 267 पे बोलने का मौका दिया जाए जब उन्होंने मौका नहीं दिया तो मैं चेयर के पास जाके अनुरोध कर रहा था कि आप मणिपुर पे चर्चा कराइए लेकिन सरकार मणिपुर के ऊपर बात करने के लिए तैयार नहीं है मोदी जी सदन में आने के लिए तैयार नहीं है सभी पोलिटिकल पार्टीज ने यह कहा है कि वो इस आंदोलन में साथ नहीं ये लोकतंत्र की हत्या है अगर लोकतंत्र में राज्यसभा के भीतर बहस करने की मांग पर भी सांसदों को सस्पेंड कर दिया जाएगा तो इस देश में क्या ही लोकतंत्र पड़ेगा हमने चेयरमैन साहब से ये रिक्वेस्ट करी आज तमाम राजनीतिक दलों ने पर्सनली जाकर जब हाउस एडजर्न हुआ चेयरमैन साहब से रिक्वेस्ट करी कि प्लीज उनके सस्पेंशन को रिवोक किया जाए और अगर नहीं रिवोक करते हैं तो फिर वो दिन दूर नहीं कि आप सारे ही विपक्ष के साथियों को सस्पेंड कर देंगे फिर तो हम सभी को सस्पेंड कर दीजिए हाथ जोड़कर विनती करिए चेयरमैन साहब से कि कृपया कर आप अपने इस फैसले पे पुनर्विचार करें इसे रिकंसिडर करें और इस सस्पेंशन को निरस्त करें से रिवोक करें इंडिया अलायंस एमपी संजय सिंह वो सस्पेंडेड शॉट बाय लगो द आम आदमी पार्टी ट्राई टू से दैट दी सस्पेंशन शुड बी लिफ्टेड इन द सेंस दैट इट्स बी अनफेयरली डन सॉल द ओपोजिशन एमपीज फॉर डिमांडिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू इनिशिएट द डिस्कशन मैम डू यू थिंक इट्स एन अनफेयर ट्रीटमेंट मीडेड आउट टू ओपोजिशन एमपी एब्सोल्युटली इट इज अनफेयर अनएथिकल एंड आई थिंक इट्स आल्सो समथिंग व्हिच स्पीक्स अबाउट द अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनलिटी ऑफ इट ऑल इट ऑल ही वाज डूइंग वाज आस्किंग फॉर अ डिस्कशन ऑन मणिपुर स्टार्टिंग विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर मेकिंग अ स्टेटमेंट and just as soon as he entered the well of the house his name was called out there was this perfect coordination which looked like a well planned strategy for them to 
you just suspend one of the opposition voices. So this just goes to show that India alliance is really hurting them. The India alliance has got under their skin. That is why this government has got defensive. They don't have quite answers to our questions. They don't have answers to the legitimate uh, you know, concerns that we are raising. That's why they are stooping down to the levels they are. Meanwhile, in a bid to end the parliament lockjam, Home Minister Amit Shah has said that the government is ready to discuss Manipur on the floor of the House. In fact, he's also urging the opposition to let a discussion take place on the issue and that the opposition should work with the government to bring out the truth before the country. Now, on the opposition insisting that the Prime Minister make a statement on Manipur on the floor of the House, Speaker Om Birla has said that the opposition doesn't get to decide who responds? In the continuing standoff between the opposition and the government on Manipur, both houses have now been adjourned for the day. और इस महत्वपूर्ण मसले पर पूरे देश के सामने सच्चाई जाए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है। The Honourable Home Minister of India, Shri Amit Shah ji, today in Lok Sabha appealed to all members of the opposition to initiate a discussion, a debate on the issue afflicting the state of Manipur. Amit Shah ji has repeatedly said that in both houses of parliament, he as minister in charge of home affairs would like to bring certain facts to light. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore. To my, let me go straight across to my colleague Pragya, who's in parliament, tracking the story for us. Pragya, interesting situation here where you have both the opposition and the BJP accusing each other of not letting a discussion on Manipur happened on the floor of the House. Today, the Home Minister has made that statement saying the government is willing to discuss Manipur on the floor of the House. That's unlikely to break the logjam, is it? Uh, Shreya, logjam continued for a third day of the parliament today. Uh, everyone thought that at least we'll see some business at least today, uh, which is the which is the first day of the week. However, it seems that uh, you know that. Uh, the stalemate that uh, the house is, uh, is witnessing right now will not going to end. Uh, you know, last night also we got to know that Union Defence Minister Rajna Singh spoke, reached out to the opposition leaders. He spoke to Malika Jun Khadge, also the Bandho and. Uh, uh, and Mr. Balu. So he reached out to the opposition leader and said that we, if you need to debate, we are ready for the debate. And uh, you, you know, you can't just put conditions on how the debate and discussion should place. All you should focus is that your demand is being met by the treasury benches. Uh, government is allowing you. In fact, the chair, Lok Sabha speaker, is allowing you to debate on a topic which is of a sensitive nature, and everyone should be knowing facts about it. This is what exactly Union Home Minister Amit Shah also said when he came to the party. He said that, uh, you know, we, we don't understand what your intentions are because we're ready. And as a nodal ministry, I am here. I am ready to debate on the issue. Why do you even need prime minister to come on the floor of the house and speak on it? He said, uh, you know, BJP has been maintaining that PM spoke on the issue. He said that he's pained. Uh, you know, everyone is ashamed of uh, what has happened in Manipur uh, with the women. He, uh, you know, he has already made a statement, but being the nodal ministry, uh, you know, he deals with law and order situation and Amit Shah knows about the fact what is happening in Manipur. Okay. And this is why he should be the one who will be answering hmm. opposition and that too after the discussion. He'll be replying on after the discussion. But this uh, is not acceptable to the opposition, uh, it seems. And uh, while Parliamentary Affairs Minister Mr. Prahlad, Prahlad Joshi, Arjuna Meghwal, uh, leader of the House in Rajya Sabha, Piyush Goyal, all try to reach out 
to the uh, to the opposition leaders as well floor of the house uh, floor leaders as well in the parliament in fact the business advisory committee that decides on the week long agenda of what bills to be taken in the parliament in the session uh, opposition party uh, opposition leaders boycotted even that today in rajya sabha so it doesn't seem right now that okay. they are willing to okay. uh, forgo the demand of having prime minister to speak on manipur issue and neither does treasury bench seem to be uh, you know giving in right now they say that we are ready uh, and let the people also know hmm. what is happening in manipur through debate you debate and home minister will reply to it okay. this is what the treasury benches are saying right now uh, uh, you know but uh, uh, th there is a change of strategy also uh, in uh, visavi treasury benches they have started doing the business they said if you don't want debate uh, we will we are bound to do the business because these are the bills that are related to the people of the country and we just can't stop all the functioning of the house okay. because you are adamant on a demand this is what uh, the treasury benches are saying right now so it seems that even if okay. opposition uh, says that they will okay. continue their uh, demand protest and all uh, 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 treasury benches will continue with their business in the house all right all right thank you thanks pragya for joining us in fact you have a busy day ahead in parliament because i believe aam aadmi party mps are refusing to go back home they are saying in protest of uh, of rajya sabha mp from their party sanjay singh being suspended for the entire entire session of the monsoon session they say they will stay in parliament so that should be interesting to watch pragya we'll come back to you uh, let's see how this pans out for the aam aadmi party for the moment a quick chat with my guest this evening Uh, we have aris pathania who is leader of the bjp joining us on the broadcast and we have advocate uh, mahima singh who is a congress spokesperson joining us on the broadcast uh, thank you both very much this is going to be a very quick chat uh, mahima singh i'm going to start by asking you why this zid for the prime minister to make a statement on the floor of the house fact is when it comes to law and order which is the nodal ministry the nodal ministry is the home ministry the home minister is saying i'm here I will make the statement. I will answer your questions. Why do you need the parliament? Uh, why do you need the prime minister? Jai Hind. Megalomania of the BJP knows of no bounds, Shreya. Because uh, when the dead bodies were piling up in the country amidst COVID pandemic, this government brought in ordinance when it was not needed and imposed black farm laws on the country. And today. when there's a clarion call from manipur and the civil war like situation in manipur is actually knocking on the door of the entire northeast it has already begun in mizoram this government is actually denying the opposition its right uh, a discussion under rule 267 is a right of the opposition and who are the opposition parties who are these people demanding this uh, this uh, discussion under the provision of 267 which is a detailed discussion again the government is imposing 167 which is a shorter discussion which the government can control under 267 they will also have to confer the right upon the opposition to demand for a vote at the end but who are these people let me come back to that these Correct. are the people who have governed manipur in the past and have handled sensitive situations to which the uh, prime minister then said who's you know he he was trying to gaslight even then that the, the congress was governing in the state at the center then who is the blame to be put upon now today when they are answerable they are evading the responsibility and all that we are asking is of our legendary prime minister we are asking i mean they call, they think uh, of him as a legend we want to ask the prime minister who is an elected leader of the house what is keeping him from entering the parliament why is he so shy to face his own people probably because the bjp feels that this is too much democracy to ask of one's prime minister to ask of one's elected representative to answer the questions of the people to tell us what has kept this government from handling the situation for 90 days what has kept this government from having a dialogue with the opposition parties that visited the state and actually uh, got a reality check of the situation there uh, and that's how democracies across the world work by having a dialogue with equal stakeholders who sit on the table who have governed the state before uh, and and finding a solution collectively why is this government so allergic to the opposition when a democracy has you know the two flip sides of the democracy are the ruling party and the opposition so our demand is simple we okay. want a discussion and a okay. rule 267 but they will they, they will deflect they will okay. deride they will denigrate look at what manoj tiwari has said today i mean who is he calling a namard is, is this government going to stoop 
to the laws of the laws to evade from the answerability you know people of manipur the players after players meena mirabai chanu you know mary com all of them have come out and demanded appealed the prime minister the president to please pay attention to their state but okay. why is this government running away okay rs patania why is the government running away the fact is that the opposition is demanding a discussion under rule 267 for the benefit of our viewers rule 267 a discussion under rule 267 means that the matter is important enough for the house to drop everything it is doing and discuss the issue at hand rule 176 under which the bjp wants a discussion is a short duration discussion mr pathania look at the facts coming in from manipur 140 people are dead for 82 days straight the state has burnt women have been stripped paraded naked gang raped killed as well 60000 people are refugees in their own home if the opposition says that this is an issue that is fit for a discussion under rule 267 what is the problem this to me is the biggest issue that faces this country and every other thing needs to be dropped in parliament and manipur needs to be discussed what is the problem in that priya first of all my heart goes out to all those who have been affected by the worst ever crisis in the northeast that is manipur may somebody has been injured maimed driven out and you said very very unfortunately as the honorable prime minister said our hearts are filled with pain and anger the way two sisters they have been paraded and the videos have gone viral on media and social media really painful but my very very respectful submission why to raise a cliff hanger if you just try to reach reach out to the exact language of rule 267 any member may with the consent of the chairman once the honorable chairman has not granted consent once the honorable chairman has not consented one part second part is since 5 days ago piyush piyush goel has made out a statement government is ready to discuss manipur the biggest disservice to manipur Nein. has been done by How the opposition parties and particularly congress and party mr patania mr patania is manipur a frivolous issue or a issue not important enough to be discussed under rule 267 we are ready to discuss it we are ready to discuss gravity of the situation ko bhi dekhiye na manipur mein shreya ji shreya ji but you are only ready for a short duration discussion you are not ready for a long duration discussion piyush goel ji piyush goel ji not at all not a no difference between a long duration and a short duration discussion the ambit and the aura exact uh, even uh, i think oppositions they are uh, they are not privy to the exact rules of procedure of the parliament 267 is not at all the rule to be invoked they should have done under some uh, under some other i'll not uh, i'll not detail it before the runner channel but the main language of 261 says any member may with the consent of the chairman once the chairman has not consented does it suit an honorable member of the parliament to go to the well there is an international consensus in some parliaments in uk also they had said they had they had banned the news agencies and newspapers to nein, report nein. anything said from the well of the house anything said from the desk will be recorded anything no, said no, from no. well will not be recorded mudde ko bhatkaiye mat i am not talking no, no, mudde ko bhatka rahe i am not talking about sanjay singh we need and, and i'm not talking about, about sanjay singh suspension that is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about why your government is not Madam, allowing a long duration discussion which that's is the, the need case. of the hour for a state yeah, sure, that has now burned for 82 days if yeah, the opposition the is demanding the prime minister statement on the floor of the house mr pathania yeah. what is the problem yeah, respect, he is the prime minister of india india has yeah, voted for him manipur yeah, too yeah, has voted for him shreya with due respect and all concern for the gravity of the situation prevailing in manipur uh, let me refer to 5 days ago piyush gelbedo the state but the government is ready to discuss manipur 
if the government is ready to discuss that even on the floor of the parliament but bars from the why the opposition is fearing from a truthful discussion why they don't want the truth to come out why they don't want the government to make out a statement and statement of a minister if you go by the doma of the, collect, uh, the doma of collective responsibility the statement of the minister constitutes the statement of the government how they are how they are uh, how they are justified in making a pick and choose we do we want a statement by the prime minister okay. the prime mahima saying why the insist on the ticket the ticket okay mr patel मणिपुर इज कंसर्न It, you know, uh, in either houses, that the BJP has made very clear. Now the opposition does want Manipur to be discussed. If that is the case, why why don't you just let the Home Minister make that statement and ask questions of him? At least, कुछ तो discussion होगा ना. Here you will be accused of stalling for no reason at all. First of all, why is the BJP spokesperson just like his double disaster BJP government, the party? Why is he sounding as if the BJP is doing some favor on the country or on the opposition parties who are equal stakeholders of democracy? Why are they sounding like they are doing some favor to us by allowing a discussion on the floor of the house? We are all elected representatives of the people of this country, and the people of this country are asking today. Why is the legend of our prime minister so shy of entering the the parliament? He's got a wonderful face. He's got a one wonderful rapo, uh, a wonderful reputation of uh, you know intervening and uh, stopping the war between uh, Russia and Ukraine. What is keeping him from entering the parliament today? You are asking me why not just allow it? When we questioned on Adani in the month of March and April, and we kept on asking for a discussion under Rule 267, for which, by the way, they have also, without answering to his letter, disqualified the honourable uh, former MP Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Why could they not have a discussion then under Rule 267 when 20,000 crores of the uh, you know rupees of uh, the people of the country of the taxpayers of this country had gone to some shell companies at the behest of the bjp and their crony capital friends why can't they have a discussion under rule 267 today or ask them shreya what will be the pressing issues which will call them which which will actually uh, you know invoke the powers uh, vested mm -hmm. in the rule 267 ask them what what will uh, be you know imminent uh, uh, to bring rule 267 to the table yes, mr pathania bata dijiye i am out of time i am out of time mr pathania i'll give you 10 seconds to no respond where, no where no where the bharatiya janata party has spelled out that the prime minister is shying or the prime minister will not make the statement my respectful submission and the congress with due respect to their purity to their narcissism and to their negativity and sense of nonsense also why don't you allow the discussion to take place on the floor don't of the parliament there. why don't you take don't place and use you use see in 2001 there is already an inter parliamentary conference we have resolved that there should be on an average 110 days for sitting of a parliament and 90 days for an assembly okay. in uk we have a role model that parliament sits for 150 days per year why are we are out and out to spoil this very democratic fabric this very very uh, the show and shine of the elected yes, government mr also. pathania if, if mr you can pathania read, If you kindly read, Mr. if you Mr. kindly read the speech of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, or so Congress may 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 very respectfully abide by the share the speaker. Mr. Patania, let's not go to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Why are you out and out to make it? Let's make not go to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Let's stick to 2023. Let's stick to 2023. And as a citizen of this country, I will just urge the BJP and the India parties to hold a discussion on Manipur. It is of prime importance. your politicians That's it's your business to do politics that is all okay but 82 days on manipur has burnt there is no more an issue as pressing as manipur right now no more an issue as pressing as manipur right now but for 3 days for 3 days mahima our parliament has not been able to do it. that is a shame we leave it there we'll we'll leave it there we'll leave it there and and uh, the bjp and the india parties and the opposition can keep pointing fingers at each other in this case as a citizen my own sense is that both are wrong that it has been 3 days parliament has been on manipur should 
have I been discussed on the floor of the house. Of ours. The India parties are just saying Shreya okay. that 90. Okay, we'll leave it there for the allow, moment. Allow Manipur to be discussed, madam. That's what we are humbly okay. submitting. Allow Manipur to be discussed. Allow the truth to come out. I mean, for 90 days and also... And All right, we'll leave it party. there for the moment. The opposition has nothing to hide in Manipur. Uh, to the BJP spokesperson, the opposition has nothing to hide in Manipur. It's the BJP that does. I am now going to show our vi viewers a clip that is exactly 4 minutes, 40 seconds long. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch this clip carefully and tell me why the chief minister of Manipur should not reside under his watch. For the last 82 days, Manipur has burnt, 140 people have died, women have been raped, they have been killed, 60,000 people have become refugees in their own land. He has refused to resign. In fact, his party has refused to ask him to resign either. And he's not asked, answering any questions. Today, our reporter Tej Shri did manage to confront him in Imphal. She asked him 18 straight questions. Some of them, ladies and gentlemen, as you will see in this clip, which is exactly four minutes, 40 seconds long, he just smirks and refuses to answer to some very pertinent questions not, that not just she, but the entire country have been wanting answers for. Just take a look at this clip. situation Manipur Praza, Avi, for a difficult situation. Me, usi time pe ye train, yaha tak ye Khongsang tak pahunsa na. It is remarkable. So, apne ka Manipur jo hai. Isiliye Honorable Prime Minister ko apne Manipuri sabiyon ki taraf se aur apne taraf se, sarkar ki taraf se, bahut bahut swagat karta hoon, dayna baat karta hoon, along with the Union Railway Minister or staff, sab ko. Manipur is burning, sir. Opposition is asking that why no action has been taken yet. देखो अभी अभी ये situation के लिए आ रहा है railway receive करने के लिए ये हम वो sir after 75 days why the accused was not arrested is the question being raised. सब कुछ पकड़ लिया सब कुछ पकड़ लिया सब कुछ पकड़ लिया है sir opposition सवाल उठा रहा है इस टी पेपर इसमें क्या करना चाहिए sir do you think that do you think that authorities are incompetent how would you respond to it sir do you think opposition do you think that strict action should be taken sir Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Do you think what what are the loopholes if the actions are not being taken? आपको क्या लग रहा है सर क्यों इतना विलम हो रहा है? Madam, opposition, हाँ सर. Brain जी, brain जी, विपक्ष बार-बार आपके इस्तीफे की मांग कर रहा है. इसपे आप क्या जवाब देना चाहेंगे? Madam, बस. तो 50 दिन क्यों लगे आरोपी? पांच आरोपी को अरेस्ट करने में 50 दिन क्यों लगे? फिर मैं हमारा काम कर रहे हैं. So this is our uh, Chief Minister of uh, Manipur, uh, Mr. Brian Singh. We will try to ask a few questions to him again. So how would you respond to the opposition raising again and again questions? For the, let him speak, let him speak, he's speaking. Please let him respond. The nation wants to listen to him too. The nation wants to listen to him. Please let him respond, sir, he's speaking. We are... Manipur is burning, sir, why the situation is not changing? How would you respond to it, sir? What is the reason, sir? Center has deployed its forces. Uh, state has also deployed its forces, but still, uh, why no action has been taken, Biren, sir? Madam, please, please. Chief Minister, sir, how would you respond Madam, to it? Madam, 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 people of Manipur, not only people of Manipur, but people of India wants to listen. People of India wants to listen to you. So this was the so this was the Chief Minister of uh, Manipur. We have tried to ask several questions to him, starting from. Why is he not responding to what is happening despite the fact that Manipur is still burning? Let us ask that 
why the authority why the authorities are saying that everything is normal sir do you think that do you think normal she has written in the state of manipur come on do you think that manipur is returning into normalcy if yes then why there are what he is saying something let him say something he is saying something so do you think that it is returning to the normalcy if yes then why there were incidents of burning please please don't don't touch our don't touch our equipment sir we are doing our duty it is our job the entire nation is mourning avroop is showing you the visuals देखिए पूरा देश आज गमगीन है मणिपुर में जितने भी घटनाएं हादसे हो रहे हैं उसको लेकर सिर्फ मणिपुर ही नहीं बल्कि पूरा देश आज सवाल उठा रहा है और इसलिए आज हम भी अपना दायित्व लेकर अपनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी लेकर यहाँ पहुंचे हैं टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन टू द चीफ मिनिस्टर दैट वेन इज गोइंग टू टेंडर इज रेजिग्नेशन दैट वाई द स्टेट ऑफ मणिपुर इज बर्निंग वाई द ऑथोरिटीज आर इनकॉम्पिटेंट वाई द state and center despite being deploying the forces are not able to work at all to yahi bade sawal humne mukhyamantri se yahan par puchne ki koshish ki lekin jawab filhal hame kuch bhi nahi mila hai lekin dekhiye daitv yahi hamara hai ki hum sawal puchte rahe sawal puchne se hum rukenge nahi